Hey guys, it's Tate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to talk about today what promo, if any, could be coming this weekend. Kind of talk about what's going on in FIFA right now, of course, with the whole icon moments, hashtag EA gate, hashtag icon gate, whatever you're calling it. Talk about that a little bit and just what is happening with this market because the market is rising. People are done panicking after this uh, Foot Player Days pack promo. We had lightning rounds again yesterday. We had a new team of the week with some crazy movements on those cards. Because there were lightning rounds right away that, su that uh, supplied those. But again, today with rewards and then looking ahead into today on Thursday. And also again, just thinking about what EA might be doing with this whole um, icon moments debacle and the stuff that's going on with that. How that could even impact... Uh, our content in FIFA possibly, we'll see. And then the potential of more Icon SBCs, which I think a lot of people are hoping for and looking forward to. Uh, so of course, right now we have no loading screen. The only loading screens we have are for foot player days. And then of course they showed us uh, that the new what if upgrades are live for Smalling, Leroy Fair, Wendell, and the others. Now I will say EA has literally zero consistency with upgrading these what if cards literally zero consistency because of course i was fully expecting ea to upgrade these cards last night like late like only a couple hours before this video will be coming out but they upgraded them like two hours after the content drop yesterday so guys like chris smalling went down uh, a little bit he was like 670k when he got upgraded he went all the way back down to like 620 is now back up to 660 as people are maybe going out and trying this card because you know what? I'll say it, man. These what if cars that EA is boosting, the plus twos, they're giving them nice boosts. It's plus two in every stat category, and then some stat categories are actually plus three. So uh, that's actually kind of nice, right? Smalling looks pretty good. If you guys did Leroy Fair, that's what's kind of popular and hype right now are the cards that got upgraded today, right? Wendell looks nasty. Smalling looks really good. Marcelo is now 90 rated fodder instead of being 88 rated fodder. Leroy Fair looks pretty solid as well. Got plus two all around, plus three dribbling. Tavernier and Marez and Goretzka all got headliner upgrades today for some streak uh, upgrades for Tavernier, but then inform upgrades for Marez and Goretzka. Of course, we had some movements with Road to the Final cards, which we'll talk about as well today, and the new team of the week, and just the market bouncing back in general. There were a lot of coins to be made if you invested in some cards, and it we're seeing them kind of rise up. But before we talk about that, I want to talk about two things. First things first, are we getting a promo this weekend? That's what we are unsure about, because if you think about this time period, uh, last year, I believe, in FIFA 20, in this time of the year, I think we were pretty much closing in on shapeshifters. Uh, shapeshifters came out last year on in in late February. Never mind, we are past shapeshifters. Shapeshifters came out at the end of February, kind of went into early March. Then they didn't run a promo until the end of March with Foot Birthday. Now they've run the What If promo this year, so of course we are in the middle of March, and now it's kind of at an interesting time point because usually at the end of March we get Foot Birthday because of course the FIFA Ultimate Team birthday. It doesn't really move, right? They can't really move that promo unless they're going to, you know, celebrate it after the fact or celebrate it early or make it like a celebration leading up to the foot birthday. I'm not sure. But this is, the, I think, the promo that we are maybe expecting. I, I feel like this Friday is too early, though. So maybe it's next Friday and then this Friday they might take a week off, potentially. I don't know. Until we get a loading screen or more information like from Footwatch or anything like that. In my opinion, I think Foot Birthday is like the next promo that we would get unless EA is going to throw something in there. Maybe they're going to extend Foot Player Days. Who knows? Um, because that's basically just a pack promo. They could do like a best of promo for this next week, but I feel like they've crashed the market already and they've got it back down. And now they're kind of like, all right, we did what we wanted to do. We got fodder down to a more reasonable level and we're taking this icon. The mid or prime icon player pick goes away. It expires today on Thursday. So... I'm wondering if EA is like, all right, mission accomplished. The market's back to where it could, needs to be. So for this foot birthday stuff, obviously this is a massive, massive problem. There's a lot of hype around this, especially the way they did it last year for the 11th year of FIFA Ultimate Team with the five-star weak foot and skill move upgrades. I mean, you guys remember. You guys remember the foot birthday squad of last year. Griezmann, Hazard, Mbappe, Rashford. They went all out with the upgrades on these cards, with the skill move boost. This was an insane 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 promo last year so i know it's coming soon it just matter it, it just kind of depends is it coming this 
week or is it coming next week? And I'm leaning towards kind of next week because I think FIFA Ultimate Team's anniversary is in late March. Um, so we'll see what EA wants to do about that. A couple people have mentioned to me, could it be Carnival? Well, I guess it technically could be Carnival, but a lot of the Carnival events and the Carnivals that actually happen in real life happened earlier this year. They happened in February. And of course, if you look at the squads in here, Carnival happened in FIFA, uh, in FIFA 19 during uh, March, I believe, is what I'm about to find right here once we scroll back far enough. Carnival happened around this time. It was only a one-week promo in FIFA 19. So again, as you can see here, they, they touted Carnival as from March 8th to 15th, join the festivities, um, kind of an embodying the spirit with a group of players selected from each of one of the major Carnival host countries. So they released Carnival um, basically last year in FIFA 19, like a month after the actual carnival festivities took place. Now, of course, this year with COVID and stuff, a lot of the carnivals were either like virtual. Some of them were canceled entirely. Some of them still happened, but just in like a different way. Um, so there was a long time ago, I remember seeing this on Instagram, I believe it was, they added code into the database for a carnival um kit i believe it was a carnival kit or like a carnival tifo one of the things i think it was footwash that tweeted it out so that does not necessarily mean that we are getting the carnival promo but i guess there is still potential if they added some stuff into the game for it that it could be coming out so we'll kind of it's either carnival for like a one week promo and then foot birthday or it's a week off and then foot birthday is kind of what i'm feeling uh for the promo stuff that's going on in this game right now that's kind of how i feel it and if it's a week off this week then I feel like EA might have to just step up the SBC content a little bit to try to keep us, you know, involved, right? We have a lot of these SBCs that are out right now. The mid or prime player pack goes away. The guaranteed what if is still here. Of course, we have foot player days that goes until the end of the week. But suppose so far, this foot player days promo has just been packs. That's, that's literally all that it has been. And that's probably all that it will be. So we might see more pack, you know, um, like we had another 81 plus double upgrade that was released today. I'm going to be holding on to this, doing it on, on Friday and just waiting to see if uh, we get some sort of promo that I could just open this, this card up from or open this pack up for uh, in a sense. But I'm kind of thinking it this way too. And, and there's a couple things that I want to point out um, based off of this tweet right here from ea sports now i want to show you guys this tweet and then talk a little bit about it this is the ea sports tweet they put out today if you watch my previous video i uploaded earlier uh last night or yesterday during the day i uploaded a video about ea uh, saying that they are uh you know about the whole icon moments controversy right now this is what ea said about it now i'm surprised ea actually acknowledged the issue but i think since the if, if, if the evidence was just so overwhelming. The evidence was so overwhelming that they had to say something about it and they had to do something about it. So uh, they said, we are aware of the allegations. A thorough investigation is underway. We don't accept this type of behavior. We understand this creates concern about unfair balance. We will update the community as we get more clarity on the situation. That's the last sentence is what I need to see, all right? I need to see updates. And since EA is tweeting this out on their main Twitter page with 8.2 million followers, they kind of mean business. So I don't know if they're legit tweet out whatever happens, what the results of this investigation are, how long it will take. Um, but we'll probably hear through the grapevine if some of the stuff stops happening. Um, basically, if they do, you know, have to fire people or whatever is going on. But this is pretty massive, right? It's pretty crazy. And now that the fact that EA actually tweeted out themselves is kind of a W, but only if it brings some change. So We'll see what happens with that. But also there was this tweet from a guy that I follow on Twitter. His name is Foot Spy. He's a top lad, also a Spurs fan. He says, don't be shocked if we get tons of content coming in, in the coming days. EA will be going into damage control and trying to distract from the madness that was uncovered today. And to an extent, I definitely see potential for that. I 100% see EA being like, all right, we got to drop some content because right now, if we don't drop any content, everybody's going to be you know, mad in the game anyway. They're gonna be like, man, there's no promo this weekend. We have this EA gate going on right now, icon moments cards, whatever. Uh, so there would be an incentive for EA to try to drop some sick content, whether that be SBC players, icon packs, icon upgrades, or whatever, to try to keep the community, especially the hardcore community that is into this stuff, occupied 
during this time. So I'm not sure what we're going to see content wise today on Thursday. You know, of course, people are saying this mid icon player pick is going away and we would have no upgradable icon or up icon upgrade SBC out in the game. We'd have nothing right now. The mid icon upgrade repeatable expired. This one uh, is expiring today. Do they re up it? I, I mean, there's potential that they could re up it, of course. That would bring some more panic and some more hype to SBC fodder. I know a lot of people that have invested in SBC fodder because they think that another one of these is going to be coming either today on Thursday, maybe tomorrow on Friday. Um, so that's not a bad play at all, in my opinion. But that's just kind of where we're at with that whole situation. And I guess we're just kind of, again, feeling like we're not sure what's going to happen because EA likes to release a lot of promos and we've grown to expect promo after promo after promo and content after content after content. And now we're kind of sitting here like, okay, all right, EA Sports, your move, right? It's kind of your move, EA Sports. Show us what you got. Show us what you have planned and uh, and what you want to do for this week on FIFA. So without with that being said, I want to take a look at the rest of this market because since there is not a lot going on right now, the market has really, really started to bounce back. I want to take a look at this brand new team of the week. There were some fluctuations to trade with these cards today. I got Jordi Alba at 120,000 coins during the Champions League game. He went up to 160. But the biggest flyer today was Luke Shaw. 150k for this card. After lightning rounds today, he was down at 97,000 coins. He went all the way up to 160. He was just 160k. Crazy, crazy, crazy demand for that card after the lightning round supply, right? I don't think we were really expecting lightning rounds today, but EA still released them. So it supplied the team of the week heavy. And then they bounced hardcore as people went out to try them. Because this Luke Shaw card looks pretty cracked, you know? Especially with people using fullbacks at center back right now in this game. That's the meta. Um, there was a big bounce on that card. Uh, Mares was 105 at one point. He went to 125. Harry Kane was at 95K. He's up at 123. Goretzka moved a little bit in the first lining round. I flipped one of those. Insigne moved about 20K as well. So there's a lot of fluctuation with these cards. Watch them today. This is getting overlooked right now, 100% with these. Watch these cards today for a discard inform investment. David, Gilbert, uh, Ta, Campbell, Zahavi, Schmeichel, Katerbeck, and uh, Sanchez. Watch those guys for like a discard inform investment. Again, don't overlook that. Even though they had some lightning rounds, these guys are still pretty, uh, they will be good informs to invest in. And then the rest of the market, what if team two cards are absolutely flying? This uh, Charleston card's up 100K. Morales is also 1.1. He's up over 100,000 coins. Uh, Ricardo Perea is up 60,000 coins. He was 120K on Tuesday. Mertens is up. 200k Falvin is up 50k so like almost all of these cards have risen up out of packs because they were just really 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 cheap right especially when you see a guy like Richarlison who is selling at 1.8 mil day one drop all the way down to 950k you're like okay it's going to be too cheap especially if this guy gets a plus two we see what the upgrades have been and it makes sense why these guys are starting to rise up a little bit some of the guys from team one have risen as well and Babu 365 he was 330 Sancho is still chilling around the same, which honestly, if this, if you, if there's no promo this weekend and this Sancho is still, um, you know, down like the 1.19 to 1.2 range, I'm going to get really interested in this card because he is getting a upgrade almost guaranteed. They only need one more goal. Odegaard, of course, and Arsenal only need two more goals. I think they're both really, really close to the upgrade, both of these cards. Uh, so you have some what if cards that are kind of rebounding back up. Even this last week's team of the week that got pummeled with supply, take a look at these rises, man. I think a lot of this was invested in a little bit, but also it just got way too low from the lightning rounds. This guy Lewandowski on Tuesday was 290,000 coins right before and during the lightning rounds. And he rebounded. He's all the way back to 360. I'm pretty sure he was like 370 earlier tonight. Crazy, crazy rebounds on a lot of cards. A lot of people are making coins right now, right? Boadu was like 50k. De Young was like 220. Gareth Bale, I think, was like 50k at one point. So a lot of cards are starting to rebound back up. That out-of-pack stuff, everything that was panic sold as well, right? Ansu Fati's 2.2. He was 1.9. Um, you know, Tap Sobo was 550. He's now 650. He's up 100,000 coins. You're seeing some of these cards that are very popular in meta. Reese James is up 100,000 coins. Um, I think this Gio Reyna is actually up a decent amount too. Kulusevski was like 350 at one point. Subasla was like 300k flat. So you're starting to see these guys really rebound back up across the market, right? 
this second inform Salah was 900,000 coins and a little bit under that. He was like 860, 870 for a, a hot second. He's back up to almost a million coins. Cancelo was 155 at one point. I bought this Lautaro today at 199 and sold it at 220. So the stuff is really, really fluctuating and a lot of stuff is up. And I don't really think that's just an investment for like weekend league rewards for flipping, right? I don't really think that's the only reason why this stuff is bouncing back. If you take a look at icon moments, I mean, a couple, you know, very interesting price rises on the market. This moments Rivaldo card was 1.4 mil on Tuesday. He's now back to 1.6. I look at other icon moments on the market, like this petite, who was 1.5 mil literally all day long. He's actually down on, he was 1.8 all day, 1.7 to 1.8. And there's a couple listings in the 1.6 range. So if I could get this at 1.5, I would be down to buy that. But this guy was in the 1.5 flat range all day. He bounced back up very, very nicely. A lot of stuff on this game, it, it just flat bounced back. That's really how you can explain it the best. It just bounced back. Now, I bought a, a C-Dorf today at 1.45. I'm trying to make a nice flip on that. It has not sold yet, unfortunately. And it's been the cheapest one on the market for literally two hours now. It's about to expire again. So I'm going to try it. I'm trying to sell this moment Seedorf before rewards where people might um, get involved with this card a little bit more. But if you're trading on the market right now, it's it's fantastic. It is 100% great to trade. Cards are fluctuating. The market has confidence again. That's the way that I'll describe it, right? The, the market has confidence and that's really just a testament to how much these cards prices have gone up. Now, if EA drops some sick content today on Thursday, then you might see a bit of panic selling, right? Especially on some of those what ifs from team two, because people have invested in them and that's the fresh investment. That's what a lot of people have done. So if you do see uh, prices fluctuating in that arena and a co big time content coming out today, that would drain coins off the market, then yeah, maybe you look at those cards because people might be kind of quick to buy them back, of course, because they're still live items. If we take a look at SBC fodder, this is another thing that people are interested in at the moment. 83s are 1.5K, 84s are cheap, right? 84s are pretty cheap. They haven't been super duper expensive through all this, right? With the icon player pick, it was mostly 85s and above. You've got 86s back down in the, the high 20s range, which is a lot more feasible than what they were at. Now, I will say this. I could see fodder going both ways. I could see fodder going up if they release more content today, another icon SPC and the like. I could see fodder going down. If they do not replace the mid icon player pick, mid or prime icon player pick, that means that this SPC is going away and that demand is lost. You still have a messy player of the month and three icon player SBCs that are out that people are interested in doing because this messy player of the month, honestly, at 1.6 mil is good value. I'll say it. That's a really good value card. It's not that far off of the team of the year and it's literally 2 million coins cheaper than the team of the year is. So that's not a bad card. Of course, it is untradeable, but if you want to use a messy for the rest of the game, there you go. Nedved, Carlos Puyol, and Clivert are all not bad. SBC cards. 800k for Nedved when his card was 1.6 on the market when this first came out. I believe his card is still like a million to 1.1 million coins. So not bad, right? Seriously and genuinely not bad prices right now for some of these SBCs. So the only thing is today, fodder could get supplied and it could drop down lower with like, you know, marquee matchups packs and stuff like that. Um, if that is released today, if there's no sort of SBC that would make that go up. Um, but also you probably might see people saving some of their packs because uh, with no promo being out right now, I mean, a lot of people are going to save their packs for when that next promo comes because people always do that. People are always saving their packs for that next promo. I don't know how this went on an open bid today and didn't get bought. One, four, five. That's actually crazy because this guy sells at like one, six. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling about this game right now, where I think it could be headed in terms of the content this week and just what is going on in the market right now with FIFA. So it's going to be a very interesting Thursday since we don't have any information as of when I'm recording this. Uh, no foot watch tweets, nothing in the code, nothing of the like. So we're kind of just waiting and we're curious to see what could be happening this weekend if there is anything that's going to happen. So we're kind of waiting on EA to give us, drop us a bone, if you will, drop us some information and uh, we will have some fun with that. I traded with some road to the final cards. Uh, I bought five Griezmann at 200K flat today, sold them all for 238, 232 to 238. That was a very, very nice uh, quick flip right there. I bought this on bid for 950, sold it at 1.077. Couple uh, informed flips in here as well. And then I'm gonna try to relist the Seedorf and hopefully get that to sell, man. Hopefully one person in the entire world 
once a moment Seedorf. But that's how I'm feeling about the market right now. That's what's going on in FIFA. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.